Okay, so let's see the practical application we are going to develop now. If you run this now, this should work as expected, right? Okay, so if I say hi John, click send, and then if I say hi Anne, click reply, awesome, you can see it works, right? Great. And with the pre, uh, uh, so 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 now you successfully did the practical of getting a result from another activity. So if whenever you want to start activity and get a result from that, this is the technique you have to use. And also just to say that in the previous lesson, you learn how to even send this message as a email, right? Which we did in the previous lesson. Have a look at that as well. So you can send that and you know finish it and let's say come back over here, right? great wonderful right so you got it let's say hi John hi Anne let's say how are you right I'm just giving example this is just to send data on your own app right but uh, it's not a chat app it's just a testing app right so it, it really works for you to understand how to send data from one screen to another screen awesome. okay so let's continue to develop this application now hi everyone the lesson is Android Activities, Part 5, Navigating Between Activities and Continuation of the Lesson. We'll be using these tools and uh, docs for referencing. It's important to cover this prerequisite, which is Part 4, Navigating Between Activities, as this is a continuation of that lesson. You can find the link in the description for that. You'll be learning here in this session a, a practical for start activity for result and on activity result methods. As usual, it's going to be practical demonstrations. Let's look at the practical we have done uh, in the last lesson. So when you run the practical we have done in the last lesson, you will see this app where we can call activities. So in this, we can call our own activity, which is this second activity. And using this method, we can call the email activity, which is a standard activity. So you know up to now, uh, big, uh, in the previous lesson. Now let's go, uh, let's move forward from that point onwards. Let's refer the developer docs. So in the developer docs under activities, under the activity lifecycle section, starting another activity from another one, one activity from the other. In the previous lesson, as I said earlier, we covered start activity. Now here we are going to focus on start activity for result. So what does this mean? It means sometimes you need to get a result when you after calling a activity when it ends so let's say the first activity calls a second activity and when the second activity ends say you want to get a result back from the second activity back to the first activity right okay so let's see how you how you have to do it so there's a sample called snippet and we will get code from that so as you can see the method is here start activity for result now when you look at start activity for result what you have to do is the first parameter is the intent right point into the next activity then the second parameter is a code right let's look at that method start activity for result in the api so if i open this method in the api it's very important for you to refer the api to get a clear understanding so we are going to open the method now. So in the API it says when you call the start activity for result method, first parameter is the intent as a second one is request code, second parameter. So what does it gives? If greater than zero, if this it's an integer request code, if it's greater than zero, this code will be written in on activity result when the activity exits. So this is a code where you can track this activity and you can track it back in this second method on activity result because as you know when in this method when you say start activity for result say first activity is calling the second activity when the second activity completes now you want a result to come back to the first activity so in the first activity to get the result you have to write this method on activity result and in that method how you f uh, uh, figure out whether this is the result that is through this request code so this request code you have to give when you call the activity so when you start the activity the second parameter is the request code 
it's just an integer here in this example it has declared it as a variable if you want you can directly pass a number let's say if you pass number 5 here in that case in that second method you have to put if and see that request code is number 5 for example just assume you pass number 10 here as the code then in the result you have to check whether that is number 10 it can be any number the purpose of that is just to tally or to match when the start activity and the result to match them together because why do you need this code is because from one activity you when you may let's say you have three buttons and when you click first button you may call activity A and then that might return a result then there's a second button and you might call activity B and then activity B might return another result when you click third button might call activity C so when you have three buttons and each button is expecting a result how do you figure out uh, how do you tally it how do you match it that's through this code so when you click the first button and call activity A let's say you will pass code 1 here integer 1 in that case here it will be if request code is 1 then when you click the second button when you call start activity for result you will pass say number 2 in that case you will have else if request code equal to number 2 then here if you pass number 3 for the third you will have else if request code equals to 3 that way you can deal with three different results coming back now let's apply this into the uh, project the, the previous project we have done so in this uh, let's go into the interface so let's think like this let's say when I send a message when I click the send let's say uh, after accepting the message let's say I want the second activity to send a reply message back and so when the second activity exits I want to send a reply message back here and display on another text box so let's d uh, design the interface first so I need an one more text field so I will go for text let's say uh, uh, plain text let's drag it here right okay let's uh, put it here very quickly without taking much time and then let's say let's uh, align this to this and let's align this to this right something like this okay and then let's say I want uh, yeah that's all good right so I got text so what's the name of this this is edit text so it's edit text so I would this one I would like to call as let's say uh, edit text number two right the name the ID edit text number two awesome so now I got uh, so when I run this I should see that uh, second text box now and what I'm expecting is okay I want to delete this let's say okay let's click on this okay the text I want to delete and the hint I want to give a hint for this right so let's say uh, let's go to the strings let's go to values this UI strings right so you go to strings you will go to open editor you will click say you will say let's give a key and a value so I just said edit text in this will display the message received so then I will go back to the main and click on the hint on the property palette pick a resource and just put uh, edit text to hint right awesome so if I run this now so what I did now is known as UI strings we have done a separate lesson earlier on that have a look at that uh, right so this will display the message return right okay okay awesome then in the second activity let's uh, go to the second activity in that let's put another uh, text view very fast let's uh, the corner let's line it to this let's drag it a little bit then let's put a button uh, and let's so quickly go to the strings.xml for UI strings open editor plus let's give a key and a value let's just call it as reply button text and the value is reply then let's go into that interface click on the button click on the text delete it is known as UI strings this is known as UI strings so click on this and say reply button text have a look at our previous lesson for you to understand on that and then let's align it to this 
let's align it to the top or or no hold on then let's right click and say show baseline then let's drag this to the baseline so have a look at this uh, lesson we have done earlier so if you are if you are not familiar with what I did now right okay awesome now I got that and let's say this text box I would like to call it as say edit text number three right let's uh, yes replace everything update all the references text three so I got everything sorted awesome right so let's run this now just to see whether the interface is all good up and running so say I, let's say I type a message hello click send awesome so I got and I should uh, type a reply when I type reply I want it to go back to the previous and the text has to be removed so let's go to the text let's click on this let's click remove the text let's put a hint let's go to the strings XML open editor plus so I said edit text hint type a reply message here then go to the message click on the text then go to the hint property and type select edit text 3 hint awesome so now this should work if I run awesome so we in second screen you can see type the reply message here so let's say say hi and and then reply it right okay let's write code for that now for that let's go into the developer docs and have uh, the reference so first of all I need to make sure that um, on the reply button I will write a method let's say reply clicked right reply clicked then on that second activity which is display message activity I will have to go and write that method so you remember the syntax for button clicks it's like this this is standard syntax you write the method name and you put a view parameter so keep in mind this is a standard syntax you have to press alt plus enter together from the keyboard it will import the package over here at the top awesome then let's put a, a debug message and see whether this works reply clicked let's run this once again and uh, once I click the reply button let's say send reply I should see in the run terminal see it works inside the reply method see the button click works all good now if I go to the developer docs so when I start the activity I have to call this method so let's copy this method very carefully you don't need everything that's depending on the example in my case I just straight away want to call start activity for result copy it so where should I put this so I should start the activity when in the first screen when I click the send button so the code for the send button is in main activity send message at the moment I'm calling start activity so instead of calling start activity I should call start activity for result and pass the intent the same intent so I will delete this from here to here and make sure that I pass the same intent here then this is the second parameter let me bring it to the same line which is the uh, let's let give me a second so when I deleting I have deleted the extra bracket I have to make sure that I put that bracket here because as I open a bracket and close here then this is the brackets for intent then request so if you look at the uh, sample it, it, it declares it as a, a static field right so let's do the same if not you can straight away pass the number right so if you want to pass one it's just a code right um, but if not you can just put it here as a as a integer you know so you can just change here up to you so if the code if you think the code should be zero it's just a code as I said you can put either zero here or instead of putting zero you can uh, just give this variable name it's a constant pick con pick contact request or let's say uh, pick reply message something like that 
so that is the code you know it's not a big thing awesome right so there's a small mistake I have done if you because let me quickly show it to you now I copied this right because you might do the same mistake so this is it so when I'm deleting I have to be careful this is the first parameter so I have to delete up to this and then pass intent as my parameter which is this intent right and this is the second parameter is the code right let's bring this to the same line right then this code is what I said pick reply message awesome that's all this is how you call for a result but the thing is when you call it it will work and it will give you a result back right Let, let's run this now so so if I run this now you will see a similar output so if I say hello John and click send well it says hello John let's see if I type reply and say hello hi and right hi and reply now nothing happens so I when I click reply first of all I want to uh, okay send this reply to the previous page so let's go to the reply button now so in the reply button in the second activity what I want to do is I want to access the data so the data is in this text box what's the name of it look at the ID it's edit text 3 so in the uh, in the second message I have to access the edit text so what I will do is I will create a edit text we'll say t3 right and in the on create right I will say t3 equals find view by ID then I will give the ID of the edit text r dot id dot edit text number uh, let me see the ID so I should I, I expect uh, I gave as edit text 3 let's see yeah see I have done a mistake it's edit text number 3 There's, there was a spelling mistake right change it yes now once again come back here so I should be able to refer that now edit text number 3 so I'm now I'm writing the code for the send button inside that activity so I got access to the uh, the text box t3 why do I need that that is because when I want to send the reply now on the reply I can get it into a string right we'll say s yes, reply so the reply message I'm going to get from this t3 text box edit text t3 dot get text as you see it's returning editable so you have to convert it into a string awesome now the next thing is in order to pass this back right you will have to uh, put this data into a intent right that's very important so once you uh, get the text now you have to put it into a intent so that is the theory that is how you do it so from second activity you will create a intent let's say result intent let's call it as that new uh, intent right and into the intent you can you have to put the data let's say this result intent there's a method called put extra Okay, it's not integer it's intent so the result intent there's a method called put extra so you, you can put a, a string value pair right let's say a key key value pair so you, you will say uh, reply RPL, reply message that's the key and whatever the message so the message is this in the string so you set the result to the intent and then you have to say set result this is a standard theory right so what you have to say is you set the result and you have to give the result code and the data so the result code is this should be the same uh, if you want to match this with the uh, previous screen so what is the previous screen main activity the result code was pick reply message so it's static and let's say it's public so that the second screen can refer it as main activity dot pick reply message so the second screen can simply give the uh, uh, code as 
main activity dot pick reply message right which is once again I'm showing you which is this one right and then comma the message is the intent result intent that is the theory you pass the intent that is the theory so this is how you pass the result back to the previous activity so and then you have to finish this activity you have to close this second activity so the method is finish so when you call finish it will close this activity and then it will go back to the it will automatically show the previous activity let's run this so, so that you can understand that so when I run this now when I enter the message say hi John and click send now let's say hi Anne and give a reply so it will add it to the intent add the data and finish right adds it and finishes it right so you have to make sure when you are calling the start activity for result you have to make sure that you don't call start activity right so you have to comment that right so let's run this now either you have to call start activity or start activity for result in this case I want to call start activity for result right so let's say if I say hi John click send and let's say hi Anne so what will happen when you click the button it will get the data from the text box put it to the intent and set the result and finish the activity see it all works but still I didn't get the result to display so I'm receiving the result but I have to accept it so how to accept it from the first screen so how you accept is using the other method on activity result so you have to copy this method from the reference and come back to the first activity right and go down in the first activity you have to put this right I'm getting error it says overriding method should call super class on activity so that means I have to follow this instruction so I have to say super dot on activity result and same one calling the parent class on activity result method so I have to pass the same three parameters right so this is basically your Java knowledge you know like because Android is based on Java okay then the request code what's it I'm referring to the same peak reply message code right okay. and if the result is okay in general so if, if I have got a valid result then what I want to do is right I don't want to do this so I can get the data so from the data the uh, the parameter data I can use a method get string right get string extra and then the name so what's the name the name is what was given in the uh, the second activity so let's go to the second activity and see the name given so the name given when you put data for the intent was reply message so you use that key to receive the data get string result you have to put that key reply message and that returns a string so you have to put it in a string s result now you can display this result in the reply text box right so over here in this one so what is it edit text number two so I have to access that so from the main activity I have to make sure that I access edit text number two edit text let's say t2 right and then on create I have to access it t2 equals to find view by id r dot id dot uh, edit text number two access it and then on activity result I can access that t2 t2 dot set text right you set the text the result right awesome let's see what's happening now right so I have got the result and I am accessing the text box number two and putting it back so if I say hi John and send the message and let's say hi Anne and click the reply right okay let's see what's happening so I got back to this but still I'm not getting it displayed on the text box let's see why it is 
So for me to see if this method is getting invoked, I'm going to put a system.out and say inside. So just to see whether this method is getting invoked inside on activity result method, right? So let's see whether it works. So run. Let's look, let's put some data, right? Some sample data, send and put some sample data B, reply. Now I want to see whether that got executed. So for that I have to go to the run and see whether it's working, right? So it says on activity result method. So that means it has worked, see, inside on activity result method. So if it has worked, then the question is why it's not set in the text, right? Why it's not set in the text, right? So let's put a uh, another uh, system dot out to see whether it's going into the result code right let's put one s out here to see inside let's say inside the if I so I want to see whether that executes right so let's run this click the run button put some sample data click send put the reply and come back right okay as you can see it's not going to the if command. It's it has not gone to the if condition. So that means it has not gone successful. So I have to see why it is now. Let's see why it has not gone to the if condition. Okay, as you can see, I have commented this part. That's the reason, right? So I have to comment this part, comment this, uncomment this part, right? I have I, I had it commented just for testing, so that's why it has not worked. Let's run this now and it should work now. So let's run this and let's say hi John, send and let's say hi Ann as a reply, click the reply, okay, let's see whether it has gone. So still it has not gone into the if condition, let's see why it is. Okay, so um, when I look at the uh, uh, code, Look here, I think we have to do a small change now. When you say set result, it's, re it's looking for the result code actually. So, so what is this result code? If you look at the back, the main activity on activity result, the request code and the result code are two things. So the result code we are looking is whether the result is okay. In that case, when you are setting the result, you should uh, not, it's not the request code, you have to give the result code. So the result code, there's a, a built-in result code called result OK. So you will say result OK. So that's what it's checking from the other side. So that's the mistake actually. So you set the result. So now if you run, when you set the result and finish it, it will go to the previous screen and the result code is result OK. So in the previous screen, when you get the result, you first check whether it's matching with the request code plus if the request code is result okay because that is a request result code you have given in that case it will get the data from the data which is the data you gave in the second screen to the intent it will get that data and from that it will get the string which is again the uh, key va key value the key you have given uh, in the second screen you access it through the key and put the result into the uh, t2 that means edit text 2 so if you run this now this should work as expected right okay so if I say hi John click send and then if I say hi Ann click reply awesome you can see it works right great and with the pre uh, uh, so 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 now you successfully did the practical of getting a result from another activity so if whenever you want to start activity and get a result from that this is the technique you have to use and also just to say that in the previous lesson you learn how to even send this message as a email right which we did in the previous lesson have a look at that as well so you can send that and you know finish it and let's say come back over here right great wonderful right so you got it let's say hi John hi Ann let's say how are you right I'm just giving an example. This is just to send data on your own app, right? But uh, it's not a chat app, it's just a testing app, right? So it, it really works for you to understand how to send data from one screen to a, another screen. Awesome, right? So let's look at um, 
this so we worked on that uh, that's excellent right okay and looking at the lesson we completed the practical demonstration successfully you learn about how to start activity and get a result you can find the link to download the source code for the practical in the description section reference was Apple Android developer docs and have a look at our next lessons in order to uh, continue on this series and we are very excited to see you in our next lesson so see you in the next lesson